Say goodbye to Cash. Say goodbye, my nigga. Let me relax real quick because I'm a new man right now, man. I feel some type of way about Cash. I feel some type of way about all his friends, his Christopher London, his girl, everybody. Simple. Now check this out. I'm about to go ahead and I'm about to scoop down to Cash Nasty level. The biggest, the, the, the best manipulator, the best. All right, now check this out. Cash Nasty was just streaming, I guess, a couple hours ago, right? Let me see. Hold on. Cash Nasty was just streaming a couple hours ago. We about to read these DMs. Now, Cash Nasty was streaming a couple hours ago. Y'all spamming me with shit. Talk about he post supposedly exposed me. Now, Cash Nasty went on Twitter. He went on Twitter. Let me show y'all his tweet real quick. Let Y'all sit back, relax, and enjoy this show real quick. Cash Nasty went on Twitter. Here goes Twitter right here. I ain't even got to show you his Twitter, but I'm about to show you our DMs. Cash Nasty talk about he exposed me. Some way, somehow, I'm trying to figure out how can I possibly get exposed and, I, and I'm immortal, first of all. Second of all, expose me how? What did I do? Now, Cash talking about I'm scamming my... I'm a scammer now? First he said I'm a scammer. Then he talking about El Christopher London is exposing me now? Now check this out, y'all. I didn't even know nothing about this. My stream was about to be totally different. I was about to hop on our regular shit, Resident Evil. But we about to go ahead and check out these DMs with Cash Nasty. And we about to go ahead and check out these emails with Christopher London. And we gonna go ahead and end this tonight. On a good note. You feel me? Now check this out. Y'all sit back and relax. I'm about to be here for a quick 30 minutes and I'm about to get this shit up out the way. Now listen. We about to go ahead and look at the DMs. Now, first of all, check this out. First thing first, did y'all see my video today, yes or no? Please tell me y'all seen all the videos so y'all can know everything that's going on. Did y'all see my videos today? Did y'all see the video, yes or no? Did y'all see all three of the videos that I made, yes or no? That's what we gonna do first. Now check this out. I want all y'all to be up to date on what's going on because I'm not finna go back. I'm not finna explain shit. We just gonna keep this shit going straight forward. You get what I'm saying? Now check this out. Cash Nasty supposedly exposed me. Um, He felt some type of way. I guess he felt some type of way about the video I made. I, I, I broke down the way Cash Nasty is. I told y'all that he, he had no intentions on playing me. You know, I explained everything to y'all in my three videos. Now, let's take a look at the DMs that y'all don't know about. I didn't show our actual conversations in the messages. Let's take a look at the DMs and let's explain everything that's going on in the DMs right now. Okay? Now, check this out. First thing first. And then we're going to talk about Christopher London after this. First thing first. Cash Nasty. Here go me and Cash Nasty DMs. I just replied to his... I just replied to his little... He said, yo... Hold on. He finally, let's look at this real quick. He finally sent me a 1v1 request. He he finally sent the request. He said, yo, August 9th, law, he just sent the August 9th, Lafayette, Louisiana, come play, 1v1, 2v2, Mr. Soluminati. Thanks for your time, and I will be expecting you, yours truly, 55 overall, no badges. He sent that to me two hours ago. I replied, when as soon as I got that, I replied. He sent this shit to me right here. On top of that, he said, I didn't even know he sent this to me. Now, check this out. He sent this to me right here. He says, yo, let's get this Discord thing going. I'm in stream. I feel my points are 100% right with facts, but you feel yours are right. Let's just talk like... So, basically, he wanted to chop it up with me in the Discord. I knew nothing about this shit. This shit was four hours ago, okay? I knew nothing about this until I came in the DMs and I finally accepted. I finally hollered at him. But he's trying to make it seem like I just don't want to conversate with him on the Discord. First of all, fuck your Discord, my nigga. I don't give a fuck about your Discord, nigga. I don't have to hop in a conversation with you. You a grown-ass fucking man. You know what I'm saying? First of all, fuck your Discord, nigga. Let's pay attention to the conversation. Now, look. I want y'all to pay close attention. This is how the conversation started. I feel some type of way about Cash Nasty right now. I showed this man so much respect, didn't I? 
I'm paying homage, showing them all type of love, showing him and Christopher London all type of love, right? But all of a sudden, calm down, so calm down. Now check this out. This is how the conversation all started. I want y'all to look at this. Check this out. When Cash Nasty called me out for the 2v2, now I want y'all to remember, we was not talking about Cash Nasty at all. Remember, he called me out. Cash Nasty called me out, everybody. He called Soluminati out. When Cash Nasty called me out for the 2v2, y'all let me know I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it, right? So I hit up Cash. I said, what's good, Cash? Look, pay attention right here. I said, what's good, Cash? Just got settled in. Send me the info. We need to get this popping this weekend. I was trying to play on this weekend, right? I'm trying to get it popping. You know, this weekend, give us some time. I think that was like a Monday or Tuesday. I don't even remember. He said, I can't this weekend. He said, I can't play in the 2v2 this weekend, during the weekend, this one or next one, going out of town. He said he going out of town on the weekend, so he was busy, right? So I said, give me a specific day, motherfucker. No excuses. Give me a specific day. Not no last minute, not no this, not no that. Give me a specific day for the 2v2, right? And we're talking about 2v2. We're not talking about 1v1s right now. We're talking about the 2v2. I said, give me a specific day. This month, so I can give you time, so I could get, so I could get have time to get myself situated. What was we talking about today? I didn't have time to get myself situated, right? Now this is before all this happened today. Now what I mean by getting my getting myself situated was no last minute shit. No, you know what I'm saying? Give me some time to get myself situated. Holla at my niggas, my cameraman, and we can make this shit happen. Just give me a, a specific day for the two v two, okay? Now y'all understand this is two v two. He said, shit, any day. He said, any day if you want. Y'all pay attention. He said, any day if you want. I would prefer Wednesday, right? He said, I would prefer Wednesday. But that would be perfect. And the court is kind of dead, right? He said, the court is kind of dead here. Look, this is where Cass Nasty was saying he was trying to expose me at. Listen, this is about the 2v2. He said, shit, we can play any day. He said, any day you want. I would prefer Wednesday. Wednesday is the 19th for the 2v2, y'all. For the 2v2. He said, I would prefer Wednesday. That would be perfect. And the court is kind of dead here. So on Wednesdays, I say the 19th, good. 100. For sure. Right here. Look, I want all y'all to see this. This is where Cash Nasty tried to expose me at. The 19th was yesterday. I said the 19th, good. 100. For sure. We're going to get the 2v2 popping on the 19th, right? That's the last I heard from Cash Nasty. Now listen up. Pay attention. Pay close attention. This is where Cash Nasty say he trying to expose me at. This 19th was yesterday for the 2v2. After I made this, which was on the 13th, I dropped the video letting everybody know. I let the whole world know. I posted it on YouTube. I let the whole world know that we cannot get the 2v2 popping on the 19th because my teammate have to piece busy, right? I say we can't get the 2v2 popping on the 19th, which was yesterday, because my teammate was busy, right? And what Cash Nasty say? He said, well, he don't want to play. He don't want to play no more. He said he don't want to play me 1v1. I said we can't play 2v2, but we can get the 1v1 popping on the 19th. When I said that, what did Cash Nasty say, y'all? When I asked Cash Nasty about the 1v1, hold on, hold on. I want y'all to answer this question for me on the chat real quick. When I first asked Cash Nasty about the 1v1, I said we couldn't 2v2. We can't 2v2 on the 19th, y'all. Look, the 19th, this is the date, the due date, which was yesterday. When I asked Cash Nasty about the about, about the 1v1, did he how long did it take him? First of all, how long did it take him to respond? He said no instantly. He said he's not 1v1 in me. He want his boy Malcolm. He didn't respond, right? That's one day. Another day went by. He didn't respond. That's two days. It's now a third day. He didn't respond. And then out of nowhere, a day before the actual 1v1, he drop a video. He, he, he come on stream and he telling everybody that he want to play me. And y'all fall for that a day before. But why he try to make this shit seem like the 19th? Why he try to make this shit seem like the 19th was for the 1v1? And I already knew this. I ain't got nothing for Cash Nasty at all. Nothing. Now, check this out. Let's talk about this apology shit real quick. 
Now, Cash Nasty, I made a video. I was showing Cash Nasty show so much love. I said I fuck with his content. I said he's a great YouTuber. I I I, I never disrespected Cash Nasty in any way outside of YouTube, outside of basketball. Everybody know he trash. He's a doodle shirt and gray pants. He's fucking garbage. Everybody know this. But outside of outside of that, he's he's a perfect YouTuber. I said he motivate me. I said I want to be like you know. So I want, hopefully my channel be lit as his when I you know what I'm saying. Just so much love from us. And what Cash Nasty do? He goes on Twitch. Fuck Soluminati. Soluminati a, a clout chaser. First he talking about he fuck with my content. Then he saying he don't fuck with me. Then he calling me clout chaser. You calling me all type of shit just saying fuck me. And then you, after it you want to come in my DM and apologize to me like a little bitch. Why you acting like a bitch now? I'm not your best friend. I'm not your friend my nigga. He come in my DM. He ain't talking shit about no 1v1. He come in my DM. Talk about yo. I uploaded a response video. I don't know if it disrespects you in any way. But I respect you as a person. And your content. And people was blowing me up. I didn't even read all this shit. Just until. I'm, this is my first time really reading all this shit with y'all. I said fuck your apology. You disrespecting me now. You know what I'm saying. You disrespecting me. We have nothing to talk about. Unless you are talking about hooping. You get what I'm saying. So I said fuck your fucking apology. Cash Nasty talking about, oh, I think I'm just bigger and better than everybody. Cash Nasty, before you called me out, we was just chilling. We was just chilling. We was just chilling. Cash Nasty, haven't nobody been talking about you? Cash Nasty, what you have to understand is, bro, you, we're not talking about you. I feel like this is deja vu. I feel like this is the same thing that happened with Christopher London. When me and Christopher London had that situation, Christopher, Lund Christopher London swore up and down that I was talking about him. And then all that shit happened. Here it is with Cash Nasty. Before Cash Nasty called me out for a 2v2, we was just chilling. Now here it is. Look what happened. Now hold on. I know I'm talking real fast because I'm rushing. I'm trying to get this shit over with very, very quick. But hold on. I want to I wanna make sure y'all know exactly what's going on right now. Because Cash Nasty think he's trying to expose somebody. Talk about I know this, I know that. My nigga, here go the DMs right here. I didn't show our conversation like a little bitch, my nigga. I don't know how you fufu ass, you fufu ass, y'all you, niggas are fufu, bruh. Y'all niggas are girls, my nigga. Y'all, but everybody want to be buddy, buddy. I don't want to be your friend. I don't want to be, I don't want to have shit to do with none of y'all. All I wanted to do was play basketball. You get what I'm saying? But once again, look, and I'm sorry, I, I've i been so chill lately, though. Like, I, I haven't even been like this lately. I've just been super relaxed and super chill. I ain't even been disrespectful, you know what I'm saying? Now look, once again, Cash Nasty was streaming and he tried to say that this part right here, he, he tried to make this seem, he tried to make this shit seem like that he was talking about the 1v1. Talk about I chose the date. You said Wednesday, which was the 19th, which was yesterday. You said this was the perfect day for the 2v2. I since then made a video. Everybody already know about the 19th. Everybody already knew that the 19th was the official day. Why? What is like what is you what, what point is you trying to prove? Because now I'm confused. What, how are you trying to expose me? Talk about, I knew it was the 19th. Duh, nigga, I told everybody it was the 19th for the 2v2. This this not the 1v1. Now, hold on. Let me take a breath. We, we just been chilling, man. Now, I don't do this fufu ass shit showing niggas, you know what I'm saying, all this fufu. I didn't show the whole conversation with Cash Nasty because I didn't respond to his message. Nigga think because he got a million subscribers and he just the, one of the biggest YouTubers. He think he running shit, my nigga. Y'all niggas is just cast nasty. All these niggas are so girly Hollywood type YouTubers. It's ridiculous, bro. It's, so, it's just crazy to me, man. Now, look. Let's talk about this Christopher London situation. Since Cash Nasty want to run and get his bum ass friend Christopher London, talk about I ran for now I ran for Christopher London. Now all of a sudden I ran for Christopher London in the 1v1. Cash Nasty and Christopher London exchanging nudes and all type of shit to each other. Y'all niggas is foo foo boys. Now check this out. Y'all remember when me and Christopher London had the little situation, and I ain't talked about Christopher London in I don't know how long. So I wish one of y'all niggas would say anything about Cloud Tasting. Cash Nasty just brought Christopher London into the situation once again. Why he keep going to go get his buddies? Why you need your buddies? You need Malcolm to play basketball. You keep running to get Christopher London. I don't want to play Solomonati because 
Christopher London saying so. Now all of a sudden you you sitting here talking about you trying to expose me. Who you go run and get? Christopher London. Cash Nasty is a bitch, bro. That nigga he's soft. Y'all don't see through this nigga. He's an inter he's a good entertainer, but as a person he's foo foo. I told y'all all these niggas is totally different behind the camera. I'm telling you. Now check this out. Here go to here go to Christopher London situation and then I'm done. This shit ain't shit to me. Now check this out. Here go the whole Christopher London situation. Everybody already know about this. I called Christopher London out for a 1v1. I said, fuck making all these videos. Let's just hoop for a 1v1. Christopher London said, yo, I accept your 1v1 challenge. You pick the time and day, November 20th to the 23rd. This was a month later. He was talking about hooping a month later, right? He said November 20th or 23rd, right by Thanksgiving. He talking about 1v1 in him around Thanksgiving. Man, niggas is with their family eating. You know, I know some of y'all niggas eat chitlins and shit. Y'all niggas got the booty breath. I ain't talking about y'all, but you're eating good with your family around Thanksgiving. I'm not thinking about you around that time. Let's hoop this weekend. You get what I'm saying? But hold on. He said let's hoop around Thanksgiving. He said 1v1 game to 15. Loser delete every video. He said loser delete every video on their channel. Basically. He said winner gets to post the game on their channel only. After this match, the beef is over for good. Let's give the community what they want. The virgin ready. He said we'll play at the 24 hour fitness. He sent me all the info. Okay, cool. Right? Now, he sent me this 1v1 request. He, he wanted to hoop against me a month later. Now, that's when I responded to Christopher London, and I said this. Y'all pay attention. This is what I said to Christopher London. How did you make this bum-ass shit bigger, bro? What the fuck type shit is this? Y'all just look at this shit. Y'all just look at this shit. I said, why wait that long for a 10-minute 1v1 when we could play this weekend? I said, why wait that long for a 10-minute 10, 10 1v1? That's going to be over in 10 minutes. Why wait that long when we could just play this weekend? I said, let's play this weekend. I'm free Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Sunday morning. I said, and I want to play for something worth it. Let's play for 500 or or $1,000. I said, fuck them videos. They'll be irrelevant. They'll die down in a couple days. That's what I said. I'm going to drop some new shit. They'll die down in a couple of days. So basically, I'm telling Christopher London shit, let's hoop. You know what I'm saying? Let's hoop this weekend. Let's get it popping. You get, you get what I'm saying? He talking about hooping all the way near Thanksgiving a month later so he can work on his attributes, his badges. I'm like, let's hoop this weekend. So Christopher London said, here y'all go. He said, I gave you a date when we could play. This is business. I even said in my video, I ain't doing it this weekend. I didn't watch his video. I don't remember him saying that. He said, that's fine. We could play for $500. He said, we can play for $500. If you can't make those dates, let me know, and I can move forward. So basically, he's saying he can't play this weekend, but he can play all the way around Thanksgiving when everybody is busy and niggas is with their families eating good, right? So after he sent me this, what I do? I drop the video, and I let everybody know that Christopher London said he don't want to 1v1 me. He said, if we not plan, if we not plan around Thanksgiving when I'm busy, then he's not 1v1 in me. Christopher London also said everything on Twitter. He's he's the originator of Twitter fingers, y'all. He's the originator of Twitter fingers. Cash Nasty catching on. It, it's something about their circle that we don't know about. But basically, Christopher London said it's a done deal. He don't want to play me. He said he not playing me that weekend. And I ain't never heard from Christopher London again. And he blocked me on Twitter. But Cash Nasty was just streaming talking about that. I said, look, Christopher London, look, Christopher London hit me up afterwards. He hit me up after it. This, hold on. And look, this will cast Nasty tried to make it seem like he, he I really ran from Christopher London. I want y'all to pay close attention to this. Now, Christopher London sent all this at the same time. He sent all this at the same time. Right? He said yes or no. Obviously, I told all y'all already that I wasn't going to be able to play around Thanksgiving. Nigga, I'm going to be with my family. I'm eating good. Who, who going to think about a 1v1? You get what I'm saying? So I told all y'all everything already. Christopher London, he backed out. He blocked me on Twitter. I ain't never heard from him again. He's gone. Get him out of here. You know what I'm saying? That's what happened with this whole Christopher London situation. But Cash Nasty trying to make it seem like Christopher, I ran from Christopher London. When in reality, Christopher London was really the one who backed out of the 1v1. 
He was the one talking about he got injuries and all this other shit. But meanwhile, everybody playing against each other. You get what I'm saying? But anyway, bro. I feel some type of way about Cash Nasty, man. Cash Nasty so disrespectful. But I showed you so much love, bro. You was one of the YouTubers that I actually fuck with. I ain't never disrespected you. Ever. And all you do is down my name. Oh, he, all he do is send hate. And he do this. And he do that. That's crazy, man. And I'm a clout chaser for getting called out for a 2v2. If anything, Cash Nasty, you a clout chaser, my nigga? If anything, you call me out. But I'm clout chasing? Why you call me out? I, I want to, I want to, I think Cash Nasty, I think it came to a point Cash Nasty feel like that he had, he have to prove something to me now. It's something about Cash Nasty that we don't know about, but I think I got that man card and it's crazy and it's sad because he's supposed to be the bigger YouTuber. He always act like he the bigger person talking about what he done for the 2K community. Nigga, what the fuck you done for the 2K community? You ain't did shit for me. Let's not forget you are a my team player. Let's not forget you just started playing My Park like this year. You're not even a My Park player. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is I have so much respect for Cash Nasty. Now he's trying to make fake exposed streams, trying to expose me, talking about I'm a scammer, talking about this, talking about that, making y'all actually think that he want to play me in a real 1v1. In reality, the nigga don't want to play me. Talking about he DMing me 1v1, telling me this and telling me that. Here go all the DMs right here. That nigga ain't never hit me up sending me no dates talking about a 1v1. He, he finally told me that he will he accepted my 1v1 two days ago. You know what I'm saying? He talking about I already knew about the 1v1 on the 19th right here. Talking about I already knew about the This 19th, this shit don't have nothing to do with the 1v1. Nigga, this is the 2v2 date. Which ended up getting switched to the 1v1 and you accepted it two days ago. I'm supposed to pay a... Let's talk about this flight shit real quick. Let's talk about this, this plane ticket real quick. Now, I want to let y'all know something. I ain't talked this much and been this mad in a minute. I'm a different person right now. And I, in, in, in some type of way, I'm still being respectful to Cash Nasty. I ain't saying fuck him or nothing. You know what I'm saying? I did say fuck him. Fuck him. Say goodbye. But anyway, listen. Let's talk about this flight, this this plane ticket real quick, right? So the plane ticket was a plane ticket for a round trip to go play nasty to go play cash nasty was around eight hundred to nine hundred dollars before tax. I'm not paying that much money for no plane ticket. Um, I have the money. I could buy the ticket, of course. It's not about being broke. It's about not being a dummy. I have the money, but I'm not no dummy. You get what I'm saying? I'm not gonna sit here and play. Pay that much money for a fucking... Nigga, that's like going to fucking... That's a vacation. You know what I'm saying? Who the fuck gonna pay $1,000 for a plane ticket? My nigga, a plane ticket just to play a 10-minute 1v1? Cash, you knew damn well that I wasn't gonna do that. You trying to man manipulate all my niggas. Oh, I want a plane. He gotta come down here right now. Let's hoop. I'm waiting on you, Soluminati. I'm waiting on you. You know damn well I ain't about to pay a band for a plane ticket. Stop it. Discord with Cash. I'm Tell Cash Nasty I said, fuck him. Simple. My nigga, I ain't got to conversate with you, nigga. Fuck out of here. I'm tired of this man. Now, I showed y'all everything, nigga. He trying to treat me like how he did OSN. Trying to expose OSN for being a scammer and doing all this other shit. How come every time you get into some drama, you want to call on your, your bros? I'm going to call Christopher London. Oh, I'm about to expose him from doing this. Nigga, I ain't never scammed none of my, nobody in my fucking life. My nigga, you... I am done with Cash Nasty. Cash Nasty think he's the bigger YouTuber? He is the bigger YouTuber. Cash Nasty think he running shit? Think everybody just got to respect him? I, I know why Pretty Boy Fredo don't, don't fuck with y'all niggas. Now I know. Now I see why he don't fuck with y'all. Because y'all think y'all better than every. They think they better than everybody. Subscriber count don't mean shit. It's about the views, baby. Simple. Now y'all want me to get in a Discord with Cash so I can sit here and argue with some shit that we've been talking about for a week now. All he do is talk shit. That's all he do. Simple. Dunk on that nigga in front of his fucking girlfriend.
Gonna get bum ass Christopher London. They they exchanging emails like they trying to expose somebody. Y'all niggas is y'all niggas Twitter. is so Call fucking crazy. Fuck Cash Twitter. Don't tell me gonna look at that Twitter finger. He always make a Twitter finger post. It's all that nigga do, man. All about the fucking Twitter fingers. But anyway. Bro, we was just so, wasn't everything all good like a week ago? Man, we was having our lit, chill, little streams. You know what I'm saying? I made shit so regular. Everything was going so smooth. And then all of a sudden, every time I'm in some shit, it all, I just don't get it, bro. Every time shit going good when I'm just chilling. I'm the chill, am I not the chillest YouTuber? I'm the fucking, I'm the chillest YouTuber, bro. I don't be fucking with nobody. I be showing everybody reaction videos, love. I talk my shit, but it's funny. It's entertainment. We all entertainers. I ain't never called nobody. I ain't never disrespected Cash Nasty ever outside of basketball. And that man just downs me. That shit is sad, yes, bro. Dick Flux is I just don't get it. Here. Cash said go in Discord live in front of everybody. If you don't, you're scared simple. You scary goofy. And if you okay him, you're getting 1 million views. You'll make way more than 800. You scary goofy. Chick lost Twitter. He sneaked us in. Bro, don't tell me nothing about loss, bro. Please don't bring no other YouTubers in this. This is about me and Cash Nasty. Simple. But, uh, this was gonna be a, a lit stream. I don't know what the fuck to do. Nah. I'm pissed. I'm hot. I can't believe that nigga just came on Twitch and trying to give me a bad name. Nah. Talk about I'm, I'm lying to my fans. I'm a scammer. Nah. I'm backing out of 1v1s, my nigga. You talking about I'm trying to make you a bad person? My nigga, look what you saying to me. And I'm supposed to respect you? You talking about you don't fuck with me. Next, you don't fuck with me. Next, I'm a clout chaser. Next, I'm this. Next, I'm next. My nigga, that's... <laughs> Listen, so Luminati got to come back crazy, and like man. Kids. First of all, I want to get this out the way right now. Tell Cash Nasty, say goodbye. If he's still trying to hoop, I will see him on August 9th. You disrespecting me. I don't want to talk to you, bro. I don't like you, my nigga. Please, my stream better not. My stream better not uh, start skimming. This is my thing, man. These you a lot of once y'all get big, bro. Y'all gonna come across shit like this. Cash nasty, man. I I have a lot of respect for him, but far as a person, he's one of the biggest manipulators. Cash nasty is. I don't see, I don't know, I don't know how y'all don't see through this nigga, man. I know he got a million subscribers, so you're gonna automatically look at him like he's always right. I get it. Cash Nasty got a million subscribers, so you think he always right. In this particular situation, Cash Nasty, look, this what I'm doing right now is what you do 24-7, just talking all day. I don't do the talking. You know what I'm saying? I drop my video after you do all your, your little rants. You ask for this, man. You know what I'm saying? Tell Cash I see him August 9th. We have nothing to talk about, my nigga. You just tried to talk about I'm a scammer and talking about I'm lying. I'll see you August 9th, my nigga. Keep it at that. Don't come on Twitch. Don't mention my name. Don't do shit. It was all good before you called me out for a 2v2, you bum-ass nigga. Fuck that nigga, Cash. I ain't got no love for you no more, my nigga. I'm going to dunk on you in front of, your, front of your fucking girl. And then after that, I'm going to ask Ash, Ash, where's your sister? You know what I'm saying? I've been telling Cash for a minute to, to, to hook me up with his girl's sister. I know she got a sister or something. As long as she ain't no plate cleaner, we good. Simple. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that nigga Cash Nasty. I don't give a fuck about Cash no more. Fuck me. Fuck you. Nigga Cash Nasty crazy. I'm trying to fuck with his family. I, I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? I don't bite my tongue for nobody. Fuck him and fuck Christopher London. I always show y'all niggas so much love in my videos, telling y'all I, I actually was fucking with y'all, bruh. Now y'all's exchanging screenshots trying to expose me? And it ain't even accurate? Type one in the chat if you remember the situation with Cash Nasty and OSN. I'm not going to bring it up, but type a one in the chat if you know exactly what I'm talking about. That's the type of person. Cat. Cash Nasty is so foo foo, bro. He always try to fuck over somebody for no reason. You know what I'm saying? 
Now look at OSN. This nigga sitting on millions. That nigga got a million subscribers. I'm not talking to Cash Nasty. Don't even mention him in my, my stream. He's dead to me. He's dut right now. I can't believe that nigga just disrespecting me like that, man. I feel so betrayed by Cash, bro. That's tough. That nigga went from talking about basketball to calling me a scammer. And talking about I'm a liar and shit.